As the movie begins, we witness a group of policemen chasing a man through the woods. Upon reaching the edge of the sea, the man suddenly stops dead in his tracks. His face appears unusually pale, marked with blisters and wounds. The policemen order him to surrender but he ignores them and rushes toward the sea instead. In a bizarre turn of events, he appears to dissolve into the water, leaving only his clothes behind. This eerie scene is one of the many examples of the outcome of a failed experiment. Going back to the year 1989, a breakthrough in advanced parasitic research on Cuddyhunk Island pushed scientists forward in their study of human evolution. Mason Lane, a prominent scientist of the era, dedicated considerable time to the experiment. His primary goal was to utilize this research to develop a tool that would eliminate the limitations imposed on humans by their DNA and unlock their full potential. Mason and his team of researchers determined that the most effective method to achieve this goal was by using bioengineered oysters. These oysters would produce unique pearls containing worm eggs, which would grant extraordinary abilities when implanted into human test subjects. The results were promising initially, with subjects displaying increased physical and mental strength and awareness. However, things took a dark turn when something went terribly wrong, and the island lost nearly three quarters of its population as a result. 20 years later, Jamie discovers that she has inherited a valuable estate from her late great uncle, Mason Lane. She sets out on a boat trip to the remote Cuddyhunk Island, along with her boyfriend, Marco, her stepbrother, Justin, and her friend, Kristen. Jamie's plan is to clean up the property and put it up for sale. However, she is unaware of the lurking danger. The island is still home to parasites that caused a deadly outbreak in the past. Upon their arrival, Sarah, the island camp manager, greets them at the port and offers them a ride to their cabin. Elsewhere, a couple is startled awake as their daughter stands in the doorway. She eerily announces that they are awake, while small, wriggling, worm-like creatures ooze from her hands. Several of these parasitic worms emerge from her body and slither onto the floor, before eventually making their way toward the parents. The following morning, Kristen goes for a jog alone in the woods. Suddenly, she spots a group of people marching in the distance, all dressed in black. Kristen quickly flees from them, unaware that a mysterious figure in a black robe is silently keeping a watch on her. In the meantime, Dr. McAvire, a scientist, examines a recently deceased individual with his assistant, Gina. He reveals that the initial outbreak occurred when they tried to create superhumans using microscopic parasites extracted from pearls. These parasites were meant to burrow into their host and alter their DNA. Tragically, these vicious creatures ended up consuming the host from within, leading to the devastating outbreak that claimed countless lives. Even decades later, the threat of another parasite outbreak remains a possibility. As they talk, a parasite slithers out from the body and enters Gina's. Dr. McAveer and others are left with no choice but to shoot and kill her before the parasite within her transforms her into a dangerous threat. Following this, Jamie is visited by Larkin, the head of the city council. He informs her that the city has decided to offer her approximately 75 grand for the rights to her great uncle's estate. Jamie is taken aback as she knows the land is worth $2 million and insists that they have received larger offers from mainlanders. However, Larkin explains that the ownership of the estate can only be transferred between islanders, leaving Jamie with no choice but to settle for the offered amount. Later that day, Kristen and Justin stroll into the woods, enjoying each other's company. They reach a river, and she introduces a make-a-wish game she often plays. Kristen explains to Justin that if he treads water and spots a bird simultaneously, his wish will come true. Meanwhile, the mysterious figure stands at the other end of the riverbank and discreetly releases one of the parasites into the water as Justin enters. Elsewhere, Jamie and Marco search their cabin for any clues related to Mason's experiment, in which her mother was apparently involved. 20 years ago, she lost her life during the outbreak, but Jamie herself managed to escape the island. As they go through their belongings, they come across a locked storage box hidden under their bed. In the meantime, Justin is unaware that a parasite is already infecting his body by slipping through his bare foot. Kristen rushes back to the cabin in a panic to inform her friends about the situation. Upon returning to Justin, they discover him in severe pain and convulsing. Suddenly, they notice something wriggling beneath his skin, but they brush it off due to the urgent situation 
Upon returning to the cabin, Justin continues to groan in pain, leading Jamie to leave in search of help. She rushes to Sarah's cabin, and together, they set out to find a working telephone to call Dr. McAveer. They stop at a nearby house where Jamie requests the man inside to use the phone. However, he remains unresponsive while she keeps pleading with him through the door. Suddenly, the camera zooms in, revealing a horrifying sight. A disfigured man lies dead inside with several parasites wriggling in and out of his skin. Realizing they won't get any help from this man, Sarah suggests they head to Dr. McAveer's place themselves. As they drive away, they notice another car following closely behind them, adding to the tension. Just when they arrive at the doctor's house, Kristen contacts Jamie through the walkie-talkie and informs her that Justin has fully recovered. However, he notices that his senses have remarkably heightened, likely due to the parasite infection. Later that night, Justin heads to a local bar for some drinks to ease his restlessness. Under the influence of alcohol, he boldly approaches a girl who catches his eye among the crowd. However, their conversation is abruptly interrupted when her date arrives and threatens him to leave. Their confrontation escalates outside, and the man tries to attack Justin from behind upon seeing him leave with the girl. However, Justin's increased strength enables him to easily overpower the man and his friends in a brawl. After the altercation, Justin and the girl leave the bar together and head into the nearby woods for some privacy. As they are making out, a parasite wiggles out from his ear, leaving the girl startled. Justin suddenly becomes violent, and he begins to choke her and effortlessly tears off a part of her neck. The next morning, Justin wakes up in his room, feeling disoriented and uncertain whether the encounter with the girl was real or just a dream. Later, Jamie visits him and nervously reveals that they won't be receiving the expected money from the estate. Although that money was supposed to fund his treatment, Justin remains calm and reassures her that everything will be all right. Suddenly, he feels a sudden urge to vomit and rushes to the restroom. As Justin empties his stomach, he notices a disturbing sight, a pile of wriggling dead parasites and flesh-like chunks resembling his insides. Despite his shock, he decides to keep his gruesome incident to himself and doesn't inform Jamie about it. Afterward, he steps outside the cabin to chop some wood. To his surprise, he finds that he can effortlessly crush it even with his bare hands. Meanwhile, Kristen decides to go jogging alone into the woods. She stumbles upon a small path marked by flower petals and follows it deeper into the forest. Eventually, she arrives at a large cemetery with numerous graves, all dated 1989. Unexpectedly, the mysterious figure tries to attack her from behind. Acting quickly, Kristen sprays directly into his eyes and manages to escape. Back at the cabin, Justin is still puzzled by his newfound strength. Suddenly, he notices a parasite poking out of his skin and quickly removes it. Moments later, Marco approaches him and confesses his intention to marry Jamie. However, Justin's attention is suddenly diverted by some distant screams. He then brushes Marco off and hastily leaves, claiming that he's late to meet Kristen by the lake. In the meantime, Kristen continues to escape from the mysterious figure. She desperately tries to find her way back to the cabin, running as fast as she can. Despite her efforts, the figure almost catches up to her each time. Seizing an opportunity, Kristen strikes the man from behind and quickly finds a hiding spot. While she tries to reach out to her friends through the walkie-talkie. Realizing that staying in one place would be dangerous, Kristen decides to make her way out. However, the mystery man viciously attacks her and forces a parasite from his mouth into hers. At the cabin, Jamie and Marco are visited by Larkin and Dr. McAveer. The doctor claims to have found a note on his door stating that Jamie's brother is unwell and requests to see him. When they explain that Justin left for the lake some time ago, Larkin quickly contacts his team to update them on Justin's whereabouts. Dr. McAveer informs Jamie that Justin is infected with a disease and reassures her that he'll help him. However, Marco becomes suspicious when he observes a large group of men heading towards the lake armed with heavy weaponry. He questions their purpose, leading Larkin to reveal disturbing news. It turns out that Justin had attacked and killed a girl the previous night. The girl was last seen with him. Meanwhile, Justin stumbles upon Kristen's heavily mutilated body just as Larkin's men approach him. They cautiously approach him with their rifles, but Justin appears ready to confront them all. With his newfound strength, he spits a parasite out of his mouth onto some of the men while immobilizing others by breaking their hands and ripping off their arms. 
Marco tries to intervene, but the remaining men argue that sparing Justin's life will only lead to their own death. Simultaneously, Jamie is abducted by the mysterious figure, and Marco is tragically shot dead by Larkin's men. Justin then swiftly overpowers each remaining man before fleeing the scene. Afterward, Larkin, Dr. McAveer, and a policeman arrive, only to discover the dead bodies of their own men. As they're talking, the policeman notices a parasite sliding up the doctor's ankle and shoots him down. Later on, Jamie wakes up to find herself tied down to a bed. The mysterious figure reveals himself to be Mason Lane, Jamie's great uncle. He plucks a parasite out of his cheeks and proudly shows this supposedly great invention to her. He explains that he developed an antidote that he uses to keep the parasites within him at bay. It turns out that Jamie's mother was the first person to ever develop an antidote for the parasite outbreak, but she never shared it with him. Mason reveals that due to his old age and illness, he had to infect himself to prolong his life. Meanwhile, Jamie manages to escape with the antidote and alerts Larkin about the situation. Elsewhere, Justin finds himself getting stronger as the infection continues to destroy him from within. Back to Jamie, she manages to keep herself safe from Mason until Larkin arrives. A violent brawl ensues between the men and the antidote gets destroyed in the process. Suddenly, Jamie douses Mason in salt water, effectively killing him and releasing the parasites within him. As Larkin and Jamie escape from the lab, they are pursued by a swarm of parasites that crawl through the floors and walls. During their escape, Larkin reveals that Dr. McAvire had manipulated her into coming to the island with the promise of inheriting a valuable estate. It turns out that the doctor believed that Jamie's mother had left the antidote with her before she died. Larkin also reveals that he was the one who rescued Jamie and sent her off the island when she was a kid. However, her mother died trying to stop Mason and his sinister experiments. Moments later, Jamie and Larkin come across Sarah, who got in an accident with her baby in the car. They swiftly rescue the baby, who miraculously survived. Afterward, Larkin instructs Jamie to fetch one of the boats for their escape, when suddenly Justin emerges from the shadows to confront them. Tragically, Justin kills Larkin, leaving Jamie with no choice but to abandon him on the island. Although he pleads with her not to leave him alone, she takes Sarah's baby and decides to escape. She boards a boat and rows away, only to realize that she has been infected with the parasites herself. In a desperate attempt to rid herself of the infection, Jamie jumps into the sea and melts away. Fortunately, the baby is later rescued by passing ships that discover the abandoned boat. Six months later, a parasite is seen swirling around in a pearl at a jewelry shop. The movie ends with an unsettling implication that the parasites remain active and that the threat may not be fully eradicated after all. Thanks for watching. Did you enjoy the movie? Share your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss out on our new exciting videos.